Okay, my name is um, Gucci Cynthia Abazie, and I come from Nigeria. I, the Rotary Fellowship Program was something that um, resonated to me very strongly because having gone to Australia and done a previous master's degree, I had the opportunity to interface with um, Rotary Fellowship scholars who also came to study peace and conflict um, at the University of Queensland. I saw the amazing work that they did um, even well on their um, fellowship program. And it sort of brought to bear some of the things that I really wanted to do in the areas of peace. Um, apart from being very active within their various retreat districts, they sort of led several initiatives and campaigns, you know, targeted at ensuring um, peaceful communities um, and targeted at ensuring um, good learning practices in the area of peace studies. Uh, it was a skill set that I had been longing to acquire. And basically, looking at their skill set, that was what motivated me to apply for the Rotary Fellowship in Australia. And I chose Uppsala because out of the four centers, um, Uppsala was one center that had very good research um, component. And it also had an elective course on gender and armed conflict, which very much resonated with my work um, in ensuring peaceful communities, especially for vulnerable populations, women and girls, um, in times of conflict. So these were my motivations for applying for the fellowship and choosing Uppsala University. selected as one of the Rotary Peace Fellows is like a dream come true for me. One is that my application was for um, my application was favored over quite a multitude of candidates um, who had various skills and competencies, but Rotary um, selected me because they felt they had that I had potential. Um, they also felt that I would be a good candidate to um, learn the practices of peace and then also um, go on to translate that those skill sets which have been learned into practice. Um, I feel very privileged um, because I know that this also places uh, a very huge um, responsibility for me, one in terms of being like an image maker projecting the work of Rotary, and secondly, being able to ensure that the learning experience here is something and acquiring the skill set that I have come to Uppsala to acquire is something that I can utilize to uh, further advance the objectives of Rotary and peace within my community, especially in my career path involving um, improving the welfare of vulnerable women and children. As someone who has had and built her career in the development sector, um, I am hoping to basically continue my path, um, career path in that area, uh, but greatly aspiring towards working with the UN Women and because it is an organization that is majorly focused on women. But I feel that um, having the skill set from Uppsala would make me stand out from the crowd in terms of um, being a woman peace builder who can learn my skills in that area and sort of lead communities uh, and teams of development practitioners um, towards advancing peace building, especially for communities, and then also um, with the intersections of gender um, or projecting a gender dimension of peace building. Um, furthermore, um, I am also hoping that 
by 2025, even if I can make it into UN Women, I will definitely be working with an organization advancing the interests and the welfare of women um, and children, and also working to dispel all forms of violence against women and children. <laughs>